Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the sys module and how to do various things like change where modules are searched for and a couple other things. So this is kind of like a miscellaneous video, bunch of cool tips, and I want you to better understand how modules work in Python. So the very first thing I wanted to show you was this document here from the documentation. It's talking about the standard modules, so the modules we've been using. Well, so far most of the ones we've used have probably been available to you, however, some of them might not be. So for example, this WinReg or WinReg, this module is only provided on Windows. If you're on Mac, you can try to import that and you'll get an error. So you can't necessarily be assured that all modules are available all of the time. However, there is a module that should be available all of the time, and that is Sys. And Sys is used if you want to interact closely with the interpreter. So a stupid example is given here where we changed the little prompt thing using sys. So if you want to see what this looks like, you can go into Visual Studio Code, or if you're using the interactive mode for Python, great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the command palette and open the REPL. And in here we can say import sys. And we can see sys.ps1, and it gives us a string with these three little arrows. Well, we can actually change this. So we could say sys.ps1 assign it a new value. Let's just make it a couple of squigglies because squigglies are cool looking. And then we'll just put a space and end the string. And now our prompt has changed. It's changed from three arrows to a bunch of squigglies. So anytime we put some expression in here, it's always going to give us those squigglies. So that's like a silly fun example you can do, but there's a lot more you can do with sys. One thing is sys.path, which is a list of strings determining where modules are searched for. So I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the interactive mode just because we haven't really been working with that a whole lot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up here and say import sys, and then I want to print sys.path. So run this, and you can see you get a list of a bunch of strings. We got users slash Caleb Curry slash example, and then a bunch of other places where some of the other modules we've been using might be located. The one I really want to call out here is this first one, which is actually the current directory. So what that means is if I went in here and created a folder, we'll just call it test, and I took our file and moved it to test and hit move, well now it's in that folder. So when we run this, take a look at the new output here, it's now example forward slash test. So that's always going to be the current directory, which is why when you create a module, you can just put it in the same directory and it works just fine. That's how we did it in the previous video when we had this utils. But now since I'm in another folder, utils is actually one folder up. So if I try to import that, and I'll show you guys that real quick. If I go down here and say import utils and run this, it says no module named utils. So what we actually can do is if for some reason your modules are located somewhere else or you have a specific place you want to store them, you can append to this path a new location. So what we can do is we could say sys.path.append and pass in a location. So the location I'm going to pass in, I'm actually just going to copy this and then just modify it a little bit. So take that, paste it here, and just get rid of this extra folder at the end. So now it's going to search one folder up in the, the example folder, which is right here. So now we run this. We don't get any issues, but let's say we didn't do this step. I comment this out, run it. Hey, now we have an error, no module named utils. So that's how you can change the location of your modules. You can do this more dynamically using this example given here. So I'm gonna copy this code here. And what this is going to do is rather than hard coding that, it's basically going to dynamically go up one folder. So here's what that'll look like. I'll go up here, paste that, and then the variable D will be used for the append. So all we'll do is say sys.path.append, pass in D, hit run, and we're not getting any 